Welcome back to another fast Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put text or shapes behind anything you want in your photo. So the first thing we're going to do is add our text. So go over to the type tool over here, click on it, and then just click on your image and type whatever you want. Then just double click on your text layer and do whatever you would normally do to get your text looking the way that you want. So what font you're going to pick, the size of your text, the color of your text, and if you need to, go over here to character, which allows you to adjust spacing and stuff of your text. When you're happy with the style and size of your text, then use your move tool to place it where you think it's gonna go. Don't worry about being 100% exact just yet, but place it kinda where you want it. Then we're gonna go over to our background layer here, and we are gonna go Control J to make a copy of it. And on that duplicate layer, that's where we're going to make our selection. So I'm going to go over to the quick selection tool, the fourth one down here, right click if you don't see it, it's right there, quick selection tool. And normally you'd use this plus one right here with your brush size to go and make your selection. So you'd paint over whatever you want to select. But I'm actually just going to use this tool, select subject. And when you click on that, Photoshop is going to do a pretty good job of making the selection for you. Usually it's pretty good. So there's some mistakes right here and right here, but we actually don't care about any of this, whether it's good or bad, because it doesn't overlap with our text. We only care about this region right here as far as our selection goes. So let's go into Select and Mask. And this is important because now we can see the text and our selection in one place. And the only thing we're gonna do is we're going to go over here and we're going to bump up our radius a little bit, click on Smart Radius, and we're going to use the second one down here, the Refine Edge Brush Tool, to deal with any parts that you have that are like hair, that are like tough selection parts. And you're just going to kind of paint around the edge of those things. So I'm just going to go right around her hair here, and that's going to help us make a little bit of a better selection around those areas around her shoulder and her arm and stuff here, I'm gonna use a different thing. So I'm gonna go over and use this brush right here. And I'm gonna zoom in to make sure that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna go along this edge and smooth out kind of around her shoulders there. This side looks pretty good. Nothing really I need to do there. There's a little patch missing right there. So I'm gonna shrink my brush, go to the plus, cause I need to add this kind of corner back into it, even though it's not overlapping with the text, so I don't really care about it. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. This edge looks pretty good over top of the arm there, and then we just have a patch right here. So I'm going to use the plus to bring that back. When you're happy with your selection, head over to Global Refinements and smooth it out a little bit, feather it a bit, and shift the edge back a little bit. Then go to Output Selection and change it to Layer Mask and click OK. Now, nothing happened there. You're not going to notice the difference because we still have our background layer active. So let's click on this eyeball to make it invisible. And then let's take a look at what this mask, this is the mask that was added. So the white you can see is what we kept as part of our selection. And the black is what was erased. And then now all we have to do is click on this layer and drag it above our text and then click our background layer to be visible again. If we zoom in, we can see that our selection is not perfect, like around here, around her hair is still kind of rough. So in that case, I'm going to go back to the mask, and I'm going to use a white brush. So click on my brush, I'm going to make sure it's white in the front, and then I'm going to make sure that the brush hardness is down to be like 50% if it's around hair. And all I'm going to do is click in here and kind of paint some of that back in. So the parts that I think I need there, I'm going to paint those back in. And then just kind of go along the edge to make sure, like right here is a little bit rough again. So in that case, I'm going to use black because I have to take some of it away. And I'm going to make the brush a little bit harder again. Oops, that's too much. So I can use white to like paint it back in, paint her arm back in right there. That looks pretty good. And then last but not least, you just have to finalize the placement of your text. And on a side note, you can still double click on your text layer and change the font and size and stuff as well. So that's it. That's how you place text behind anything you want in your photo using Photoshop.